What's going on, guys? What's going on? Uh, you guys already know I'm not one of those guys who make pump out videos all the time, uh, unless there's something on my mind. And lately, there's been one topic that's been on my mind, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about it in just a second. But before I do that, I actually want to talk about the cryptocurrency space right now. In general, the prices are going down. We all see that, and a lot of new people are probably freaking out. This is kind of natural and normal. Uh, I don't know if this is the ideal time to buy, but for me, it looks like a prime time for me. Um, it's really on you, on your budget, whatever you're trying to do, but I wouldn't freak out. Um, this is a time where most people have started accumulating those cryptos that they're really interested in. Um, not when, when it's all spiking up, to the moon. that's not the ideal time to do it. Right now is the ideal time, but um, that's on a whole other topic. I kind of want to talk about how EOS, I feel, is going to change the game when it comes to ICOs. I don't think there's any need for ICOs anymore. Uh, just for a simple, simple fact, before in the past with Ethereum, the, the whole ICO thing was, it was understandable. For dApp developers to uh, give out airdrops, that wasn't happening because it would cost them way too much uh, just to do that, just to give it out to every Ethereum holder a free coin. That the gas alone would cost them uh, out of this world. That's no longer the case for EOS. It's free transaction. There's no excuses anymore to not give out the whole community free coins. And it makes more sense to do that. Here's why. EOS is really distributed compared to a lot of other cryptocurrencies, at least for holders. Um, there's not as many whales involved in EOS than there is for other cryptocurrencies. So it only makes sense to give it that out, their free coin out to the whole community, rather than have an ICO that lasts for 30 days, that has a bunch of whales attacking it, and, and the whales control the show with that, that cryptocurrency. That makes no sense. When you could distribute it through a whole community for free, for free, the gas is not involved in EOS, and you're gonna get free advertisement. Because if anyone's like me, and I get a free coin, I'm gonna to wanna to know more about it. I'm gonna to wanna to talk about it to friends and family because it's for free. Rather than me spending my own hard earned money and uh, have a chance to lose my money, I'd rather get it for free and hold on to it. If there's even bad news about the cryptocurrency, the airdrop, something, there's a hack on the, on the coin, I'm, I don't have to really sell it because I got it for free. Rather than spending my own hard earned money, here there's some 51% attack like Bitcoin Gold just had. Of course, I'm gonna freak out and sell it. If it was for free, I, whatever, it's just sitting there in the wallet. It, I didn't have to spend my hard earned money. So it's gonna encourage people to actually hold on to it and give it a chance to, to mature rather than just pump and dump it and flip it. And, uh, and it falls down to the abyss of coins that, that never see the light of day. Um, and I, I think it's gonna get way more advertisement doing the airdrop lotto than the ICO. Because we all know about the ICOs. There's those handful of guys who participated in the ICO that no one heard about this token, but they're over here preaching about this coin. Like it's the next Bitcoin or something. Um, and the reason why there's only a handful of people talking about it is only a handful of people actually participated in that particular ICO. Rather than just giving out the coin to everybody who's, who holds EOS um, and let them do the advertisement. That's way better than uh, the ICO. I feel ICOs are completely outdated. And I know a lot of people like to talk about NEO versus Ethereum and Cardano versus Ethereum. The thing is with NEO, it has the same problem, gas. No one is going to want to do the gas thing anymore. Uh, it was a pain in the ass to try to do the whole gas thing with the EOS, trying to register the coins. You need a little bit of Ethereum, so you have to go buy Ethereum. I was trying to get new people to understand that and just, this was too cumbersome. It's not gonna work. Um, there's a new day and age. <laughs> that's that's the past now. So, uh, so I don't I don't feel like uh, Neo is even a real competitor. I feel like Neo is just uh, it's an Ethereum, it's a, a, just Ethereum sidekick. It's not. I don't feel like it's the next level up. Uh, Cardano maybe it is, but I feel that that's down the road. A couple I don't know years, months, who knows? But that's out there. I don't feel like it's happening right now. Um, it's not in front of our face right now. I try to use their ADA wallet. Um, didn't even let me do it. It just it would not sync. I don't know what the hell was going on. I left it on for 24 hours. Woke up in the morning, still was doing this thing. I don't know. I, I, I feel like if I can't even get to use a wallet, then I, I can't see the coin going to compete with Ethereum. Um, maybe down the road. I don't know. Maybe I might buy those words later on. So I'm not going to rule that out. But I don't really feel there's a lot of contenders to go against. 
go against head to head with Ethereum. There's really not that many besides the EOS uh, that truly could go head to head. That has uh, proven itself with Steam, with delegated proof of stake, uh, that it works. It works. Uh, it's not something that's just not known if it could work or not. It, we have some examples. So I feel like um, not too worried about on, 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 uh, that aspect of it. Can DPOs work or not? We, we have examples of that. Um, all right. There, we, we, we know about the whole issue uh, with the whole bug thing that they found and fixed before launch with the EOS. Uh, and now Dan Lambert has this bug bounty for $10,000 if you find a bug. That's cool. That's awesome. That encourages people to really uh, go out there. That's free money. Uh, just to find a bug, that's, that's pretty awesome. But uh, I'm also expecting bugs right at the get go. I'm going to clear that up. I expect bugs. Um, this is totally new, man. This is. New. This is not something that's just a copy and paste coin. They're, they're stepping up the game. They're setting the bar even higher. Uh, Ethereum had bugs. Let's not forget. In fact, Ethereum still to this day has bugs. Uh, let's not forget that. Uh, it's been a couple years it's been out and still to this day have issues. So you can't expect uh, EOS to be flawless right out the get go. There are going to be issues and they're going to be fixed. The great thing about EOS, the bugs can be fixed. Ethereum has this whole consensus thing and whether the not should it hard fork and it's just a long drawn out thing. That's what happened with the DAO. The only ICO I really participated in. And uh, that's the first ICO, they had a bug. The whole network had to decide for a whole month whether they should hard fork it or should they give back the money, should they not give back the money. Uh, it was a big issue and it really turned me off from the whole ICO space with Ethereum. With EOS, simple votes, the governance system is a lot better. It, things will work a lot smoother than Ethereum. It's not gonna be this long drawn out thing where we have to hard fork and figure out what we're gonna do. And uh, really disrupt the whole network. Uh, if there's a bug, it could be isolated. The whole community doesn't have to stop what they're doing in order to, because one dApp screwed up. Um, so I, I feel like this is way better than mine. I, like I said, I expect bugs. I definitely expect that you can't go into this not expecting bugs. That's foolish. That's very foolish. Just for the simple fact you're seeing what's happening with Ethereum. It's been around for many years now. Still has bugs. So uh, let's not get it. Let's not get over our, 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 our over our heads right now. I expect there's no issues that are going to arise. The great thing, EOS can fix their issues. Unlike a lot of other platforms, who will literally have to halt the whole damn network to figure out what they're going to do. Like the DAO years ago had to stop the whole network and that's why there's Ethereum Classic because of that situation. Um, so that's my two cents on that. I think that the ICO model is kind of dead. If the people are trying to do ICOs, I'm being very skeptical now of ICOs because I know now, I know there is no need for ICOs anymore. You can airdrop it for free to a, a big community. It would be m way more scattered than an ICO can ever be. Because if you know if you have an ICO, a bunch of whales are going to take control of that. Why would you do that? Unless you're trying to get a quick quick money grab, in and out, get $30 million really fast through an ICO, and then get out and, and to help with the project. I'm going to be very skeptical about ICOs now. Now, there's no excuse why you can't do this for free. You can't airdrop it for free. There's it's all If you really have an honest uh, mindset about your project, your dad, you don't mind doing it, giving out for a free airdrop. It's going to retain value anyway because everyone's going to hold your coin. So it's going to have value. You won't have to worry about if it has value. Rather than just pumping out some ICO and people just buy into it. And uh, who knows when you get them out to actually doing something. At least the airdrop, you're going to be motivated to, as a DAP developer, to motivate yourself to uh, get that project uh, really on its feet. Rather than an airdrop. If you got $30 million just like that, there's no more motivation to really go out of your way to see it through. I, I can't speak. I can't speak about all ICOs. There are some that developers that um, or some developers out there for ICOs that uh, do fulfill their pro their end of the deal. But that's few and far between. They're they're just like I would say ninety percent fall short to where they said they're going to do, and uh, we end up with with nothing. So, or, or something that's far out in the future that when they feel like getting around to it. That's not going to cut it anymore. It's either you do an airdrop and the community notice you 
give you free advertisement, or you do an ICO, where you don't get as much advertisement, the community are going to look at you as a quick pump and dump money grab and uh, not really participate. If anyone's like me, I'd rather go with the airdrop model because I feel like you're really trying to be honest about your project. You're not just trying to get in here, get some quick uh, money from people and get out. You know, that's just my two cents. I don't know. Maybe I'm going a little crazy. Who knows? But uh, tell me what you think. You think the airdrop model is actually better or the ICO model is better? Because maybe there's something I'm missing about the ICO thing that I, I'm, I'm just overlooked. Who knows? Maybe there's a better, doing the ICO way is a little bit better than the airdrop. But I can't, I can't come up with a, a, a conclusion why it would be better. Um, that's just my two cents. All right, guys. And uh, I'm going to catch you guys later and I'll see you.